How's it going everybody? So today I want to make a video on feeding calves. This is our pasteurizer right here. It's in the milk house. And this gets filled twice a day with the extra milk that we have at the end of the milking that we keep out uh, from some lower quality milk cows and some that are just had calves. We have to keep their milk out for a little bit. So we put the milk in there and it runs through a cycle. Goes up to 140 some degrees and it stays there for about 45 minutes and then cools it back down. So then we're, uh, we can feed it then to the calves. First we'll go ahead and start filling some bottles. Now we're gonna head up to the calving pens. So the calving pens are directly back behind the parlor. It's back where the pre-fresh cows are and they'll have their calves back there. So there's the pre-fresh cows. And then they'll have their calves either in these little pens or over in the big pen and then we'll bring them across. So the calves are in here for no longer than a week after birth. That guy over there was just born this morning. These are a few days old. Usually if they drink good, I can feed two at a time if they come over here. These bottles are two quarts, and they'll get two of these a day. So, gallon of milk a day for a little baby calf. So I used to do this job a lot. I did it every morning before school when I was in middle school. And then once I got to high school, I had to get up too early, but I used to feed calves every day. Now I don't do it near as often. It is a very important job though. It's not something that we take lightly. We need to do it right. Megan is the girl you see milking with me pretty often. She does a lot of calf feeding, kind of manages the calves, so I don't have to worry about it quite as much, but it's a really important job. This one here is a half Angus calf. Some of our cows that have lower genetics will breed with an Angus, and then we'll just sell the calf, whether it's a heifer or a bull, and they'll bring a little bit more as calves. This one was born this morning, and it's the fastest drinker of the four. This one's got kind of cool markings. All black head with a little white across the back there. It's a heifer, so she'll be sticking around. That's good. So I grabbed two more bottles and we head out to the calf barn now. So we bring the calves from the calving pens into this barn and we'll keep feeding them a bottle for about a week. And then we end up training them to drink milk out of the buckets, which is quicker. We saw these five that were just a week or two old. They all need to be bottle fed. Each calf has two buckets, one for feed and then one for milk and water. So we always give them water after the feeding. I'm gonna have to go through now and just dump all those water buckets out as soon as I'm done feeding this calf. Now I'm gonna head back to the milk house. We'll get the milk and three more bottles for these three calves.
I forgot, I need my scooper. So we have the pasteurizer, heat the milk up to 108 degrees to feed. So that's a little warmer than it would have to be, but until you get it out here, it cools down a little bit. I'm gonna do the bottles last. We'll get the bucket caps fed. So this is a half gallon scooper. We'll give each one a half a gallon to start. Some of the middle aged ones around a month old, they'll get a little bit more then. We'll see how much we end up having. I actually haven't done this job for a couple months. So they just down the milk out of the bucket. Start them on a two quart bottle and then we'll get them into the buckets and give them more like three quarts once they get into these ages right here about a month old these here are pushing two months so we go back to two quart, two quarts of milk and then these are at eight weeks we'll put them on half so we'll just give them one quart twice a day for about a week and then we'll stop giving them milk and then they'll just eat the grain and drink water so i have a little bit extra milk and we go back through give another quart to some of these middle calves Now I'm working at the last three bottle calves. You can hear everybody quieted down, they're happy now. We used to feed our calves milk replacer and we switched to pasteurized milk over 10 years ago now. And we really like the pasteurized milk. We feel like the calves grow really well on it and the health is better. We very rarely lose a calf. So we think it's part of that is the pasteurized milk. I know some farms will use bottles for the calves the whole way through. They say that's better for them. Some people think that. I was just wondering if any of you guys do that on your farms and if you think it's better or what you found. So once I get these bottles fed, then I'm going to go through and check the feed buckets and then we got to give water. We get this calf feed custom made. It has some different goodies in it. Pretty tasty recipe. Looks like a, like a granola or something. We want to have grain available to the young calves early. Don't want to give them too much because they don't eat all that much. Like this one got her grain wet, so I'm gonna have to get this out of here. It's gonna mold. So most of the young ones I just go through and stir it around a little bit and then add a little bit if I need to. As they start getting older, we want them to start eating grain and to the point where they don't need any milk at all. So at this age, a calf doesn't have her rumen fully functioning like a grown cow would. So if you give them forage like hay or corn silage or whatever, they're not gonna digest it. They need to have that grain or milk. The last step is to give them all water. If the young ones, I just give a partial bucket. And I'll give a full bucket to these oldest calves. It's nice to hear them quiet, they're happy. Just go ahead and wash these buckets up.
So tonight after the milking, the milkers will load up the pasteurizer again, start it, and then we'll have milk for tomorrow morning around seven o'clock when we feed again. Megan does a lot of the calf feeding as well as a few of our neighbors. Had to take advantage of today that I was doing it to make a video. All right, thanks for watching.